So hi and welcome to the Armor Stand Guide with Magic or Stand with Magic. So we are on part 2 already. So this part, uh, I will ex continue explaining the UI of the Armor Stand book. So we have done the styles page. Now we are moving to the nudge and the most important, uh, one of the most important page of the book is this nudge okay so so nudging is used to move the armor stand so if you go to the nudging page uh, you will see values of eight three one so there's positive and negative ones there's also this uh, there's also three types these normal ones this relative aligned and relative exact so this one uh if you use this uh the armor stand will move in the um normal axis or in the uh the axis you uh the F, uh, the minecraft use when you press f3 you will see on the uh, left side of the logs you can see they're facing east toward positive x so therefore the positive x is toward that way and then if we turn this way this is south which is towards the positive z or z axis this one is the negative x and then this one is the negative z so upwards is the positive y and then downwards is the negative y so this part of the book uh, follows that axis while this relative aligned is relative to your position so x is the horizontal movement to the left and to the right so if you use the negative values the armor stand will go to the left and then if you use the positive value the armor stand will go to the right and then z is the um, forward or away and then towards to you so if you uh, let's check if you use positive in here it will go towards you and then if you use negative it will go away from you so <clears throat> this relative exact is depending on your exact position so this is also uh, the horizontal uh, horizontal so as you can see earlier uh, if i press the z into positive it will go on this uh, on this axis right but earlier it goes on this axis because it checks your exact location okay so uh, instead of using the original axis as access it the these two will use the axis based on your position so i don't normally use these two i always use this one um i open my mini hard menu uh tooltip look uh look at there at the top left of the screen uh the second line or i mean the third line i always show to myself the axis where i'm facing so i can easily move my armor stand without using the relative aligned and the relative exact so we, i'm more comfortable using this one instead of these other two so it's your preference if you want uh, whatever you want so after that we will talk about about the numbers so nudging moves the armor stand a six, 16th one sixteenth of a pixel so we, we all know that a block is 16 by 16 pixels so moving a armor stand in the positive x into positive one will move the armor stand into the positive x axis in one over 16 pixel okay or one pixel or one pixel okay so if you use positive three it will move three pixels and then if you use eight it will move half a block because a block is 16 and then half of 16 is 18 so that is how you use nudging okay so my tip in nudging 
use this one and then if you don't have mini hud um, in your client you can use f3 to look where you are facing and then um uh, i always do when i'm doing a mm, doing a armor stand i always um treat positive x as the north positive z as the east and then negative x as the south and then negative z as the west so if ever uh, if i'm looking here i'll just rotate my compass which now give me that this side is the positive x this one is the positive z so if i want to move this armor stand to the right i will just use the negative x okay so i'm just like using a compass so that's my tip in using nudging so after nudging we have rotations so we have here many numbers and then the same words so first is these four numbers this four number is the menu where you can choose what angle are you working with for example if you choose 45 degrees the value now will be set to 45 degrees everything you do with rotation will use 45 degrees for example i want to rotate this and then okay okay wait so this two arrow here is the use for rotating the armor stand so if i wanted to rotate the armor stand to the left i click this left arrow so it will move to the left or it rotate to the left then say same with this one it will rotate to the right by 45 degrees because i choose 45 degrees and then if you choose 15 degrees and then rotate the armor stand you will notice that only 15 degrees was used so you need uh, so you will have lesser rotation so you need to, uh, okay so i will put him back again to normal position then if you choose five degrees it will move in five degrees and then back again to the same position and then one degree will move or rotate in one degree this one is almost not noticeable i rarely use this except i only use this one if for um, uh, very detailed very detailed build so if i need to move the arm one degree so that's where i use that uh, setting so i the normal uh, degrees or angle i use while doing armor stand work is the 15 degrees so i i am more comfortable using the 15 degrees so 45 if i will use 45 if i know that i need to rotate something at a big um big big angle without clicking too, ma too much so if for example i want to raise the hand of the armor stand i'll use 45 degrees so it depends on the situation but most of the time i use 15 degrees it is the most uh, i think moderate angle to be used then this one pointing so pointing is uh, okay uh, i forgot the towards and away so if you use towards uh, the armor stand will rotate towards you at any given angle and then towards it will do 180 degrees and then also do away so it will turn around turn away from you so that is how you use towards and away so now next is pointing so pointing or, or pointing is used to direct any body parts of the armor stand towards your head or your feet so if i click head to head it will go to my head it will point i mean <laughs> let go and then if i press feet it will look at my feet okay so if you go at the back and then press 
feet again, it will look to your feet. See? So, I don't use this at all, actually. I don't actually use that feature, but now you know how to use that feature. Maybe you will discover how to use that, but I don't. I don't. <laughs> Next is presets. So, presets are presets of, of poses. So, we have attention, walking, running, pointing, blocking, lunging, winning, sitting, or visible, cupid, confident, salute, let, face fun, blazing, confused, mm, formal, sad, joyous, stargazing, and then randomize. And randomize will give you random pose. See? <laughs> random pose. With FRs. So, <clears throat> uh, I think it's randomized every time. Yeah. Always randomize the pose. But my favorite one here is the attention. For example, if I give this to align, align the item straight. So I use the attention. And then if I want a chair, then I wanted the armor stand to sit, I will use sitting. So I will just use, <clears throat> I will just give small modifications to the posing. But I'll start with this one. So I use the presets most often because of this, they make the build faster. Especially this seating one. And then that requires two, two pieces of armor stand because you cannot put the legs in here. You need another armor stand here. And then rotation up. Bring up the legs. And then mirror. Then you will need to bring this up to that same level of your script okay to align them and then make this one invisible let only pants be seen so you will see you will uh, you can see one example of this at my lat latest video the episode 8 of the random crop so i use that one i i do add that one and then uh, a line <clears throat> So next onto the book is the post adjustment. So post adjustment is used very, very uh, all, all the time. So I normally start with this attention because it straightens everything, the arms, the head. Because if you will notice, the head here is not straight arms here definitely are not straight so that is why i use attention when doing armor stand works it really helps helps to start at the um right ang right angle <clears throat> because i don't know what angle this one have so don't use that much so the post adjustment I will move the part so you will move the armor stand by parts depending on which axis for example the head to do a nodding or look down or look up you will use the x axis axis so it positive x to look up, look up excuse me so look up positive x and then negative x to look down so I'll, I'll change the angle first <clears throat> sorry for my voice and then y will be used to um okay, let's add a head so that you will see it properly so y is used to change the head to look to the left and to the right so if you use the negative it will look to the left and then ah, positive to the right and then Z is used to tilt the head, negative to tilt to the right, and then 
pass it to tilt to the left okay so you can experiment with this part because i cannot explain how this works um especially the legs and the arms they are kind of weird so you just do trial and error okay because uh, if, for example you do positive x and then you don't like that you just do the opposite positive or the negative to change or the un to undo what you have done okay so mistakes are okay and you should learn from your mistakes okay so that's the post adjustment next is the auto align auto align is uh, as the name suggests auto alignment so first is the block on surface if you give uh, do i have a block here if you give the armor stand the block then remove the head <clears throat> and then auto align it to block on surface the arm stand will automatically align itself to and also uh, turn invisible so it's, uh, let's show the armor stand it will automatically align itself on the surface so if we go down it's exactly on top of the sand okay so that is how you work you use auto alignment so and no, not, not, not that one <laughs> so if you use the item on flat i uh, on item on surface uh, okay you don't have arms <laughs> my bad so you use item on surface it's not black on surface so um, let's use this one there you go so it's on the surface standing okay and then if you use okay uh, let's let's go back again this wall <clears throat> my voice is kind of uh, bad today so that's what item on surface looks like and then item flat on surface will uh, lay down the item on the ground and then the last one is what is the last one tool flat on surface so if you give him a tool and then use this one it will lie down on the surface so that is very convenient in some cases in some cases i always use this too for example in decorating a dining table i use the item plot on surface most of the time <clears throat> also uh, do i have that thing uh, no but i can make one So if you have a tripwire hook, place on a wall, <clears throat> and then you have a armor stand holding a tool, for example my shovel, and then you use auto align tool rack, the armor stand will seek the nearest tripwire hook, and then um, align itself to the tripwire hook, and then this can be used as a tool rack so you can change the tools you want to hang in there so easily okay so very a very good um, function of the armor stand very useful for making a blacksmith something like that okay so i use this uh, when building a blacksmith or an armory or a forge in a base so that is how you use the auto align function next is the swap slot so if you have an arm stand and then if you wanted the arm stand to hold the item into his off hand nope not that one you want to transfer the main hand to the off hand <clears throat> off hand use the swap slot 
and then main hand to off hand to exchange them. And then you can now give another item to the armor stand. And then if you use it again, you can swap it again. Like shuffling. Okay? And also, if you have a head, you can also swap the main hand to the head. So you can make your mini block as a head and the head as a mini block. Okay? So I use this function for aligning an item. For example, that one. Using the block, I use the tension and then swap the main hand to the head because it is better to manipulate. So it's easier to manipulate the head than the hand. Okay, so that's the only time I use that function. And you can think of something to use that. Okay, so I recommend using head if you if the <clears throat> if the um, item you are going to use is not size restricted so you can use the head instead of the hands it's easier to control so next in the book is mirror and flip so you have uh, you have seen this earlier so if you have uh, arms then you change the other arm you can uh, mirror the arm to the other arm for example the right arm to the left arm and then the left arm to the right arm to so have a same arm or identical arms to the armor stand. Same with the legs. So you put backwards the legs and then want them both backwards. So we will use right to the left. <clears throat> and there you go. They are both identical now. And then next is the flip. So if you have a right arm <clears throat> and then you want this uh, arm stand to flip horizontally and change both so you'll just click the flip and then the whole armor stand will flip horizontally it will change the arms and the legs okay so next is the utilities so first is the copy and then is for example i change this one into no at the uh, the, the, the winning and then uh, let's assume it's not a preset okay and then i want this one to be uh, this one to be same with this one so we just do copy so everything you did to this will be copied to the book except the position the x-axis and the y-axis and then you can go here and then use paste and as you can see they are now the same so if you notice i need to walk near this this armor stand first before using face because you can only use the book three blocks away of the armor stand if you are too far for example here i think it's still applicable Let's see uh, another one see it's not working anymore it cannot take because it cannot take armor i uh, orders because because the armor stand is too far from me so the book only have a radius of three blocks on both sides okay <laughs> next is the lock and unlock so every time you do an armor stand work you need to and then you need to use lock because if you don't lock a armor stand and then there's so many armor stands in your area or in your workplace for example i want to change the arm of this one but i stand in here and then change the arm this one will take the order instead of this one to prevent that one we do locking so we lock this one then we go here and then move this one 
So even here, even we if we go here and then use the command, this arm stand will not take any order from me because it's currently locked. Mm -mm. So lock armor stands cannot be moved and cannot be changed, cannot give items unlike unlock unlock armor stands okay and then lastly on the utilities is the seal and unseal uh, this only applicable for creatives okay it's the same with lock and unlock we're almost done so we only have this final page the item frames so this is not an armor and uh, this is not an item frame this one is the item frame so this one is a normal item frame this one is a invisible item frame uh, that's a data pack made by enigma enigma man i think for the server so if we have a item frame here then we use the item frame as invisible item frame it doesn't work <laughs> can can I can I can I mm, does this thing work? Mm, hello. Oh wait wait. Uh, it will work if you use an item in it. I think. So we use. The item frame and then invisible there you go it won't work because there's no item in there so there you go you have an invisible item frame without using any mode block so if you remove that and then replace the item it's still an invisible item frame and then if you want your item frame to be permanent you can use Fix item frame. Yes. Oh, admin menu. Okay. So you need to be admin to use that. So you, uh, if you use that one, uh, your item frame will be invulnerable. Okay. Cannot be destroyed. And lastly, is the credits. So credits to these people who have developed this mod, which I really thank. For doing these mods without them we don't have this data pack so <clears throat> that's all for the p6 of the armor stand so let me know if you want to know or want to learn advanced techniques of how to use the armor stand book and i'll make a video with that okay and i magic and we'll always be near bye bye Oh, 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 oh,